Yo, what up, street talk, street gods, street vlogs, or Kim in the house, right? Some thoughts, some uh, health hacks. So, I think uh, the thing that binds all humans together is health, wellness, etc. Now, what are some simple health hacks posed by or Kim? All right, so uh, some thoughts. Um, I mean, intermittent fasting, no breakfast, no lunch, only one massive 100% carnivore dinner. Uh, beef and lamb is my personal favorite. Pork ain't, chi uh, pork, ain't, pork ain't meat. Pork is white meat. Chicken ain't meat. Fish ain't meat. Um, so it looks like uh, the good way to, to think about things is uh, fish ain't meat. <laughs> Lobster ain't meat. Insects of the floor. Um, so... Uh, that's that's one thing. Um, the second one is uh, maybe a hybrid of both green tea and black coffee is a good idea. So, <laughs> like contemplating becoming like a Hadong South Korea green tea importer exporter. Yeah, it's a new wave. If you're interested in uh, getting a batch, just shoot me an email, eric at ericim.com. Hook it up. Um, maybe also importing really good robusta Vietnamese beans. But anyways, so it's like. A lot of people, like, they try to quit coffee and then there's like, oh, instead of coffee, drink green tea or yerba mate instead. But my thought is like, why not just drink both, right? I think it's a, it's a good idea to just try to do both, right? So, um, you know, um, so the, the method I use to, to brew uh, green tea, like, I, don't, I don't really know how to do it, is we have something called a Clever Dripper, right? Just kind of on Amazon. It's actually supposed to be for coffee, but it actually works for tea, green tea, loose leaf as well. You just put in the little filter cone thingy. And then um, I have some hadong green tea that my mom hooked it up with. And I just, you know, put in some leaves. And then just, we have a zojiroshi hot water boiler and just fill it with hot water. Let us steep for like, like anyone who uses like scales and time, I'm like, it's like, it's like, this is it's not necessary. Just steep it for a long time. And then you extract it and just drink it. And I've actually found that um, green tea is interesting, especially Hadong green tea, uh, South Korea, with the loose leaf stuff, loose leaf. Um, ironically enough, I think it's actually more caffeinated than coffee. And also the other funny thing is, uh, yeah, it's, it's more bitter. It's like bitter is better. That's, that's a tip. Don't eat nothing sweet, whether it be real, fake, monk fruit, blah, 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 zero calories. And anyone who tells you calories, are in cal I'm like, you guys are like, you guys lack critical judgment. Um, uh, and also drink black coffee, espresso. Um, <laughs> we get this Ethiopia Yoga Chefi light roast on Amazon. Light roast is better because it has more uh, caffeine. Um, or just get Robusta. Robusta has more caffeine than Arabica. Arabica is called Arabica because the you know, Coco Arabs discovered it. It actually is from Ethiopia. Uh, mm -hmm. um, just get the big five pound bag on Amazon. It's called like freshly roasted coffee. It's like the most generic thing, but it, it works pretty good. And yeah, just down as many espressos as you want and uh, drink uh, green tea concurrently. And then once you have a good buzz, then just chill, right? Um, also, some pro tips is, uh, you know, optimizing sleep. So, like, simple things, right? A, just um, don't charge your phone or iPad in the same room as you sleep in. Just charge in a separate room outside, right? Um, also, just simple thoughts, like, if you really care about your health, uninstall all social media apps from your phone, like Reddit, YouTube, Instagram, blah, 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 Facebook, even uh, Gmail, email just do it on your laptop don't don't have it on your phone i actually remember um so i'm 35 and i was born in 1988 i remember actually when the first iphone what came out right iphone 3 3 4 i remember that right 3 3 3s 4s i don't remember um i had the og hdc evo 4gs right via sprint don't get sprint sprint sucks uh even t-mobile it's, it's i but maybe it's better to get verizon instead um Oh yeah, also Verizon, if you want to get some uh, good marketing, consulting with the, the EKs, eric at ericim.com. The issue is that like, they're trying to, Verizon trying to lower the prices and make it compete with T-Bowl. No, no, you got to go more elite. Um, 
Uh, I remember the early days to have work email on your personal phone or smartphone was seen as like insanely bizarre and now it's the norm. Uninstall Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, da da da. Essentially, the heuristic is simple is that like, if you don't pay money for it, there's a hidden cost somewhere. This is why I don't trust Gmail. It's better to have your own self hosted uh, email. Um, there's a cool thing that Apple has, the iCloud plus link, whatever's. So it actually links my um, my personal email, eric at ericim.com, to the iCloud thingy. So it seems to, to work quite uh, fluently with uh, all my devices. Um, and yeah, like, I think what is the phone really useful for? Simple Google Maps, Uber, FaceTime, making phone calls, text messaging, and that's pretty much it it so sub jimmy so i think uh anyone who tries to focus too much on making the phone or iphone the ultimate have all catch all thing it seems to kind of be um uh, kind of a, a lost thing uh better to instead get an ipad pro instead of iphone pro a uh, very simple thought um and what is the best iPhone to have. I think it's either an iPhone SE or an iPhone mini. The The best phone is the one which is the lightest, the most uh, lightweight, and the least obtrusive. Um, it seems to be a good idea because... Like, like, like my a few days ago, like a week ago, my, my web server went down. I had to be on the phone with the, the service reps for like hours. And I'm just like holding the phone on my shoulder. You remember when you had used to have to do that, right? I'm like on hold perpetually. And I'm just like, I'm so glad I have an iPhone SE because it's like lighter. It's easier to hold. It's actually like just a good phone, right? Because ultimately you're going to use your phone to make phone calls, <laughs> right? It's called an iPhone, right? They call it an iDevice, right? So yeah, just phone 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 should be good for phone and also the reason why i think it's good to have a uh, iphone instead of android facetime is really the game ch uh, changer especially like now that my mom's in uh south korea i could just facetime her it's so like android samsung has really seriously um lost a chance creating some sort of facetime competitor that's it's really kind of the the game changer um yeah um so uh some also things you know hot sauna yoga stuff like that i think there's something about the hot heat and humidity which is very like restorative um i mean the big benefit of doing yoga at a studio versus doing it at home yeah just kind of it's more relaxing the heat and humidity it just feels good you could take a nice nap at the end um and also i think being around other human beings is very productive um other thoughts super minimalist shoes vibram five fingers yeah, foot plantar fasciitis issues. Just get a pair of Vibram Five Fingers. I like the LX model and just rock it. The only reason people don't wear it, I think, is because they look quote quote weird. <laughs> it's like once you don't give an F anymore, I don't care, right? Um, also, some uh, other thoughts is uh, you know, quit Reddit. I think it's it's worse than uh, <laughs> it's like <laughs> oh, also like uh, quit the PR zero N because. Uh, energy so it's like i actually had a funny turbo thought it's like if you watch porn but you don't rub one out is it still porn hmm. so the only like no moralistic issues against porn honestly speaking to me it's just more like energy suicide is what the kind of the eastern medicine says it's like think about it like you you know you do it or you rub one out what's the mean thing you do after you want to take a nap right and so if you want to become more powerful and become more hype, become more demigod, why are you, why, why are you gonna get rid of your power? I mean, better thing is just conserve your uh, spunk for you know your partner, your girlfriend, your wife, whatever's, um, now I'm speaking from a male perspective, like think about this way, you're about to like deadlift 900 pounds, right? Are you gonna rub one out real quick? Probably not, all right? So just think more uh, critically in terms of the physiology also just quit all sugars carbs starches vegetables fruits because vegetables are just starches with a good conscience uh fruit is just candy with a good conscience and now i was even walking around whole foods looking at all the new package i'm like everything is either repackaged starch sugar 
and don't trust none of the fake sugar stuff like the the reason why i also think the dave asprey the bulletproof coffee dude is so uh disingenuous is the the new coffee thingy they sell they have the monk fruit extract the monk fruit still make you fat like you're you can't fool your bodily physiology is when your body consumes something sweet i'm very certain that your body is going to start injecting the insulin hormones into your body make you fat <laughs> but people are like oh but i like sweet things like how can i quit i'm like i mean it's up to you right like how demigod do you want to become right so like for me my physique is the most supreme uh thing so very very easy right um you just think like how badly do you care uh yeah the weightlifting one rep maxing never do a more than a single rep reps are for L -l -l loser three-dimensional loser like my friend uh charlie kirk says um and yeah and i think it's good to show off go to the gym scream loud shout slap your face uh also another pro to my via negativa tip is uh don't work out without headphones earbuds earbuds pros earbuds pros pros to maxes uh because it discontent uh disconnects your opportunity to interact with other human beings and uh, I actually think that you could produce more hype energy without having music. I mean, music certainly helps. Even the ancient Spartans apparently would beat the war drums to hype themselves up before battle. Uh, think about the Kanye West Black Skinhead song. Doom, doom, doom. I used to listen to that all the time. But I did an Atlas lift of 935 pounds. Just uh, Google or YouTube. Air Kim, 935 pounds. It's like, I'm a beast. I'm an effing beast, right? Um, and I don't take steroids and, and, and. and also I think more weightlifters should do yoga and more yoga should also lift weights. Uh, dudes who only do yoga, I, well, I witnessed, you know, <laughs> they, they super flexible and stuff, which is cool, but, uh, yeah, they lack muscle mass and a lot of weightlifters, especially the more cool, cool serious ones, right? Uh, I mean, like, I never trust no weightlifter or bodybuilder or powerlifter, anyone who's in knee straps, wrist straps, belt. I think wrist straps are fine, but the knee wraps, I'm like, come on. The belt, I'm like, come on. <laughs> it's like, and then people's like, oh, you hurt. I'm like, I've done over 900 pounds and don't use none of that silly nonsense. So certainly it's possible. And I think the only reason why people quote, quote, injure themselves is because they don't do enough proper warming up, stretching. And also I found that the heavier I lift, it becomes more critical that I do uh, more weightlifting, uh, sorry, yoga, dynamic stretching. Doo -doo. So just steal the moves. Actually, one thing that's good, uh, my uh, my best man Justin taught me is um, a lot of CrossFit warm up stuff is actually really good. Yoga warm up stuff. You don't have to do more than one single repetition of any of the poses. Um, I think honestly, a lot of people who do yoga, it's more of an aesthetic thing. It's kind of like some people you know own a louis vuitton bag and drive a mercedes or whatever and then some people like to do yoga because they like to show off and i, I don't think showing off is a bad thing i think it's i think it's cool like showing off is a is a virtue everyone tries to show off in a different way um so don't be afraid of being a show off strike up a conversation with strangers and know that ultimately i think a lot of health is social <laughs>